Welcome to Tinkernut.com's videocast. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at admin at Tinkernut.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bullet time effect like you see in the Matrix movie. And we're going to do this for real cheap. It only cost me uh, just a little more than $10 to do it. So that's the final effect of what you're going to get and uh, the parts that you're going to need are three or more disposable cameras, three or more clothes pins, the same amount of binder clips, a hot glue gun, poster board, and string. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to take the clothes pin and saw one of the tips off of it and hot glue it to the top of the camera. Now uh, it's not going to automatically hit the button so what I did was I took an eraser from an old pencil and hot glued that onto uh, the shutter button and then once I had that stuck into place I took the binder clip and clipped it onto the clothespin to hold it open and hot glued that to the top of the camera so that uh, whenever you pulled the binder clip off the clothespin would go down and set the camera off. So that's what it looks like with the string. Now I did that for all five of the cameras I had and then I hot glued it to some foam poster board so that when you yank all the strings all of them go off at the same time. So uh, once you have all of your material, the video and the pictures, um, I'll show you how to edit the pictures. Just uh, put them all in the same folder and then open up paint.net which is a free program that you can get off the internet and import all the pictures into this into layers. Um, then select the second and first picture and reduce the opacity of the second picture so that you can uh, drag it to sync up with the first picture. And once you have that, just drag the opacity back up and disable that picture and do the same thing for the next picture. I only had three, so I'm just uh, going to do this for the, the uh, third and the first picture as well. Just going to drag it over to sync it up. And uh, you can see that this picture ends quite abruptly. Um, so once I drag the opacity back up, I'll show you how to get rid of that. Uh, first you want to get rid of the white lines. So I'm just selecting everything but the white lines. And then go to Edit and Invert Selection. And that makes it select the white lines. And then I just hit Delete. So now I'm going to save this once I get the white lines gone. Um, I'm going to save the entire project so that we can revert back to it later. I'm going to go to Layers and merge all of the layers down so that it creates one layer. And now I'm going to choose the Clone Stamp tool to get rid of all the, uh, the overlapping. So I'm ju you just uh, hold Control and click on an area that you want to clone and then just hit left click to uh, clone that area and get rid of the overlapping. Now I'm going to save this as a JPEG file. I'm just going to call it Kick Paint 03 because this is the third picture in the series. And now I'm going to revert back to our original saved project and do the same thing for the second picture. And then once you have that complete, open up Wax, which is a free video editing program, and drag your video and the first uh, picture in the series to the timeline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the, the slider timeline to where I want the picture to start and make sure they're kind of synced up in the same position. And now I'm just going to hit the, uh, op the uh, options for the picture and drag the opacity down so that I can see through it. And then I'm going to drag a quick 3D option around and adjust the picture so that it syncs up with the original video clip. So it's the same size and same shape. And uh, now I'm going to drag a second video clip down. And what you want to do is go to the beginning of where you want the picture to start and shrink the first video clip down. Um, to that area and shrink the second video clip up to that area so that you have the start and stop of when the picture is. So now I'm just going to move the second video clip to the end of the picture so that when I go through it, it just picks up, the video just picks up where it left off. So I did that for all the pictures and that's what the final project looks like and you can mess around with it however you want. But when you're through, go to Project and Settings and uh, I'm just going to choose XVID for my codec and you can also change the size and then click OK and then click the green render button. 
Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.